Hey guys, today on the show, we're going to answer the biggest question in soccer cards. What to do when a player has too many rookie cards? There's three things you can do. You don't want to miss this show. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome to Couch Show Cards and Coffee. Welcome to the program. Today we're going to address the biggest question in soccer cards. What to do when a hot young prospect or any prospect, right, has a ton of rookie cards. Are there angles or is there a strategy to attack this? Is there at all? Well, I'm going to dive into that. I think there might be a few ways to play it or maybe not. We're going to talk about that. It's going to be an exciting show. Anyway, guys, before we get started real quick, you know, this show is ad free. At least I don't put any ads on it. Uh, no sponsors, so to speak. So if you want me to continue to do these videos, uh, incur I encourage you to check out East BRA Coffee and consider buying a bag of coffee. I put a link in the first description. A lot of people ask questions. I just simply don't have the time. If you buy a bag of coffee, I might make a few exceptions. But I think the number one question in soccer cards is what to do when a player has too many cards. And that is like the number one case in today's soccer card market. What if Messi came up today? Would he be an investable prospect? Well, here's my thoughts, let's go. Hey, first off, I'm gonna tell you about a new hot prospect that I like in Syria, maybe the hottest prospect in Syria, Matias Soleil, Juventus owned right. He's playing for Frozenoni right now. He's out on loan, so he could go back to Juventus. He could be a star. He could be, he's Argentina. He could be the next Messi. You guys might be thinking, Mike, he's done it again. He's found the next big thing in a soccer card market, in Italian soccer, the next star, the next Messi. You know what The Rock would say? <laughs> you know what The Rock would say to Mike about this card that I paid $100 for out of 10 gold Panini Select uh, card? with a patch on it, he would say, Mike, you're a jabroni. Here's why. Actually, he'd give me like, like the people's eyebrow that I can't do, and then he would say, you're a jabroni, <laughs> I think, right? Anyway, I'll tell you why in a minute. All right, so if a player has too many cards and Matias Sola, uh, Sola would be one of the guys, let's see what he has. He has, uh, he has Select, of course, he has Champions League, he has Immaculate, he has Merlin, he has a City, and he has Stadium Club, he has Finest, he has Sapphire, he has Tops, he has Donruss, and the beat goes on, bum, 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 bum. Anyway, so he has a lot of cards. <laughs> but is there a way to play him? So anyway, if a guy has too many rookie cards, I think your first option, and it's always option A, don't buy. Where, you know, did Jim Cramer still do that? Don't buy, don't buy, don't buy. <laughs> I don't know, but that might be your best option. We're gonna dive into the numbers, but that's option one. It should always be option one don't buy if a guy has too many rookie cards. No matter how good they are, no matter how good a prospect, Soleil is taking penalty kicks. He's gonna score goals, right? And he has been, and he's been given assists. But he has like three goals in his professional career, so keep that in check. But anyway, don't buy is a good option because there's a lot of phenoms that never end up phenomenating, right? That's what I always say. Anyway, that's option number one, don't buy. Take that to heart. All right, option number two, by the sets of record. And what do I mean by sets of record? Well, there are so many sets out there. I don't know if they're gonna last or what things are gonna go, how things are gonna play out, brand strategy, will Panini be in the market, will Tops be in the market? What in the world will happen to soccer cards? I just know where we are right now and I just know what's happened in the past. Set of record, in baseball, it's Tops or Tops Chrome. You know, basketball, it's been Panini Prism for a while. Okay, so what are the sets of record? Well, Soleil plays in Europe and Syria. So Syria, the set of record last year for Syria would be select. There's also elite and there's score. It's no, nobody is denying that the set to get in Syria last year, uh, the license set of Syria would be Panini select. So that would be one option to play that. It's card number 153 if you're thinking about it. He is also in, so the next question you have to ask is, okay, is he in a European set? And he is, he's in a lot of European sets, by the way. And he's in Topps Chrome Champions League, which I consider the set of record in Europe. And that's card number 147. So he has a Topps Chrome Champions League and he has a Panini Select. Those are, in my opinion, because they are the definitive sets for both Europe and, and Serie A, those would be the two cards or the two ways I would look to play that. The third question I would ask is, does he have an international set? Is it an international year? Does he have a Euro or does he have a World Cup card in particular because it's his rookie card? And he doesn't have one this year. He wasn't in the uh, Panini World Cup set, so he does not in that case. So those would be kind of the three sets 
Um, so first, first off, don't buy number one. Option number two, look for a set of record card and understand what, what's available as far as numbered cards in that area. The third option I would say, since he does have a Topps Chrome card, is it might be a way to play it. There's a lot of cards. We're going to dive into this in just a second. You could look at his Topps Chrome Gold Refractor, not his Gold Wave, not any other edition of that, but just simply his pure Gold Refractor. If you can get it at the right price, that might be an angle to play since there's only 50 and the Gold Refractor brand has been in place and consistent for a while now as another option. Now, say you just have to have it. You just can't live without a Soleil rookie card like Mike, okay? <laughs> Maybe you went a lot. I would say you need to find a top 100 card. So try to find a top 100 card. Now, here we go. What's a top 100 card for Soleil? Well, <laughs> you might not collect soccer cards after you hear this. And this is gets insane. Let's go. All right, so select. Here we go. I'm just going to tell you the numbered uh, versions of some of his key cards. And we're going to dive into this so you can understand what we're dealing with and the insanity of the current soccer card market. Select. He has a 101, a 105, a 110, another 110, number one out of 20. Uh, Champions League, he has a 101, one Super Fractor, out of 5, out of 10. He also has an autograph in the Champions League. He has a 1 of 1. He has an out of 5. He has an out of 10. He has an immaculate 1 of 1. He has an 8. He has an out of 10. He has a Merlin out of 5, out of 1, out of 10. He has an Obsidian out of 1, out of 3, out of 5, out of 9, 2 out of 10. He has a Stadium Club out of 1, out of 4, out of 5, out of 10. He has a Finest, a 1, out of 3, out of 5, out of 10. He has a Topps Sapphire. We're not even going to dive into that. So just autographs and tops Chrome alone, he has 613 numbered autographs, plus he has more. If you look at his Merlin set, get ready for this. He has 2,266 numbered cards across 20 inserts, and he has more inserts, more versions of that. If you add up his sub-10 cards just from those key sets, he has 154 cards numbered less than 10 out of those key sets. I'm not even talking about Sapphire. I'm not even talking about Tops. I'm not even talking about Don Russ. That's getting insane. If you take the core sets, he'll select Chrome, Immaculate, Merlin, Obsidian, Stadium Club, Finest. He has over 10,000, 10,000 numbered cards. And by the way, this is an insert. We haven't even touched the inserts. If you add in the inserts, it's going to be pushing 20,000 numbered rookie cards. That is just insane. It makes you want to say, what the f is going on in the soccer card market? Because there's just way too many cards. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to, I mean, well, gentlemen, because only guys watch this channel. You got to know the numbers, right? And I thought I bought this card. I thought I, I got a top 100 Soleil card. Guess what? I've got a top 500 card. Maybe it's not, like I said, it's not even... Uh, a base card, it's not even a version of a base card. It is an insert card. It's out of 10. If you wanted to get a top 100 Soleil card, you need to go one of five or one of one to get a card. He's probably got, if you count the inserts, close to 50 cards around a one of one. That is insane, guys. That is insane. So you ever wonder, you ever wonder why I say Latora Martinez, Saka, right? <laughs> you want to pull your hair out when somebody, uh, an Arsenal fan says, uh, it's, it's such a shame Saka only has a couple rookie cards. You shouldn't be so lucky because if you look at these guys, right, Latoro has 16 what graded cards out there. Mo Salah, which I say he has six numbered uh, hobby rookie cards out there. And Matias Soleil has uh, 20 some thousand. So come on, let's think about this. Let's be serious. Right now, Soleil has the market cap. If you add up his rookie cards, just what some people are paying for them on eBay of like 10, 15, 20 times Latoro Martinez, he scored three goals. Latoro scored 100 like in Serie A. So this is why, in my personal opinion, if you have the discipline and don't chase after the hype, it doesn't make a lot of sense to buy guys who have this many cards. And unfortunately today, that's a lot of the top prospects. You might be able to get a find a good card at the right value, but if you're trying to find a top 100 player, a top 100 card of a prospect, it gets insanely difficult. You need to go one of five or less in today's world. It's really tough. And uh, unfortunately those do will typically cost you some money. That's why I like finding guys that have few rookie cards. So this is a wild show. Again, if you're looking to buy a guy, you ha must have his cards. 
uh, no matter how many cards he has printed, my strategy would be, again, really consider not buying at all <laughs> because how, you know, to move, to, for the market to move 20,000 graded numbered cards or even a card like that, for the market to move it, for that card to be really worth $100, he would have to have a unbelievable career because there's just so many cards to move up. Um, but if you have to buy it, I would consider buying a set of record card, at least if it's Serie A, Liga, you know, if you're looking at uh, uh, the Premier League, it's going to be a prism card. So just think about that. If you're looking at the Liga, it's going to be a select card. If you're looking in the Bundesliga, it'll be a Topps Chrome Bundesliga. So look at a set of record or, her, or his uh, Champions League card, if he has it in Topps Chrome, particularly the Gold Refractor. And uh, just be careful out there, guys. Again, thanks for watching the show. Consider buying some coffee. It helps support me. If you haven't seen my show with Soccer Study, that aired last week. Pretty cool. I got some rave reviews for that one. But that was a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, take care. Live inspired. And we'll talk to you soon.